Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're on the trail of Dot Martin film locations for Series 1. In this week's video we will show you some of the filming locations of Dot Martin Series 1. First we will take you to David Stowe Airfield, Tintagel, Port Isaac followed by Port Gavin. So as part of our mission to try and find some Dot Martin filming locations we've come to David Stowe Airfield. David Stowe is northeast of Camelford on the A39. David Stowe was built in 1942 and helped the war operations. Its pockmarked runway is over a mile long. It is reputed to be haunted, so watch your step. Only a few sheep here today. The first time we see David Stowe being used in Doc Martin Series 1 is when PC Mark Milo comes to rescue Doc Martin after he's been run off the road by the fishermen. So there's the distinctive fir trees that you can see behind the travelling shots. Cars going along the road there. The second occasion is when one of Louisa's pupils, Peter, has run away from home. Dot Martin and again Mark Milo, they come and they find him and rescue him. If you look over PC Mark Milo's shoulder you can clearly see the World War II control tower. It's definitely the spot. And look, the windsock over Dot Martin's shoulder. It's like this, see, dark. I haven't had much luck with the ladies recently. They don't seem very satisfied. So I've got these online. Big boy tablets. <laughs> so if you really felt the urge to come to David Stowe Airport. If you were completely mad. <laughs> follow the signs to, what was that museum? The uh, it's a World Corm War, in, uh, War Museum. Yes, which yeah. looked kind of fascinating, yeah. but we haven't got time to go there today. So if you just drive on beyond that, uh, yes. you go over a little cattle grid and you actually park on your runway spot. And it just takes you straight into the moorland area. So in series one, when we first meet Doc Martin, he is coming for his interview to be GP at Port Wen. And that interview is held at Camelot Hotel in Tintagel. Tintagel is about 25 minutes away from Port Isaac. About 10 miles. <laughs> King Arthur's arms. Where's his legs? <laughs> to find the Camelot Hotel, come all the way through Tintagel, follow the road as far as you can, and it actually ends at the Camelot Hotel. Let's go and find the room where the interview took place. Oh, it's a very impressive building. Resembles a castle. So Doc Martin arrives here for his interview in the formal dining room. The panel includes Louisa. This is where they're introduced for the first time. I think Doc Martin's interview would have taken place in this room here, on the ground floor. If we look off to the right, it's Tintagel Church. That does appear in later episodes of Doc Martin. Lovely little church. And then further out towards sea, this is King Arthur's Castle. There we go, that's reputed to be King Arthur's Castle. Lots of people over there, it's actually October half term at the moment. So let's leave the Camelot Hotel in Tintagel, head back towards Port Isaac, where Dot Martin first enters Port Wen as the GP. <laughs> We've now left Tintagel and we're heading towards Port Isaac so that we can film some more of the film locations they use for Series 1. On the way, we thought we might try and find Aunt Joan's house. <laughs> We've come down all these country lanes and we're looking for it, we can't find it. Staring at a hedge! Looking for Aunt Joan's house. It's the right sort of view. In the building in front of the big grey barn between the two telegraph poles. We think that might be Aunt Joan's house. So we just can't get there at the moment. We'll have to keep on trying. So the first time we're introduced to Port Wen, Doc Martin is coming to take up his GP practice post. I believe that's where we mock up the Port Wen sign. 
So this is the road down into Port Gavin. And that's exactly what Doc Martin did with a lovely view of Port Isaac in the background. Our first introduction to Port Wen. So we've now arrived in Port Isaac. We're in the main car park, just making our way down New Road, down towards the village. In front of us is Port Wen Village Hall, filming location for Port Wen Players Dance, where Louisa has a date with PC Mark Milo. From Port Wen Village Hall, or St Peter's Church Rooms, walk down 4th Street until you reach the Cornish Cove. The house next door was used in Series 1 as PC Mark Milo's house. Here we see Dot Martin bringing the dog here. Walk down 4th Street a little further and you will see the school on your right where Louisa teaches. Dot Martin looks through the windows at Louisa. In Series 1 they use a fish and chip shop run by Mrs Cronk, Peter's mum. Louisa brings him home after a fall at school. Oh, it's closed. Bet she's in hospital again. <laughs> and next to the fish and chip shop, this was the pharmacy in Series 1, where we're introduced to the long-suffering Mrs Tishel. Just down from the pharmacy, in Series 1, they actually use that door as the grocers. So we've just walked down 4th Street and on the bend in the corner find Celia Umri or Susan Harding's shop. In episode one, we find Doc trying to solve a mysterious case of two unconnected men growing breasts until the affair is rumbled. The Scarrick Hill takes you up to Doc Martin's house. Yeah, Doc Martin's house. Overlooking the harbour. So now that we've found the doctor's surgery, we're going to go back down the hill follow the road all the way back through Port Isaac, past the school, pick up the coastal path and head back towards the car park. As you start to go back up 4th Street, here's the Golden Lion or the Crab and Lobster. This is where Bert Large pretends to be covered in blood, tomato ketchup, after it's revealed the dock has a phobia of blood. Opposite Cornish Cove, follow the coastal path back to the car park. Looking back at Port Isaac. Taking his dog for a walk. Oh, Daddy, I'm very tired. Please carry me back to the car. Please, Daddy, please. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> You're going to carry our dog? No. Don't give him ideas. So Louisa brings Peter up here for an ice cream. Can't get it quite spot on because the ice cream van's in a different place. It gives you the essence, there's the Wiggly Road behind the hotel. Proposing to walk down to Port Gavin, find a few shots that they take when Doc Martin arrives at Port Wen, and go and investigate the Headland Hotel they used as Port Wen Radio. Just have to pop down this little hill here, and we'll be there. Port Gavin is a separate little cove to Port Isaac. So here we have the Headland Hotel of Port Wen Radio. Unfortunately it is now shut. Those front windows are all boarded up. I think that's probably where they filmed Port Wen Radio. That's what happens when you get Bert Large to run it for you. <laughs> he did the plumbing. <laughs> so Doc Martin's making his way to a surgery in the very first episode. He carries on up the road and passes this house here, which is used later for something else. In the first episode, he desperately needs to find a surfer comes down to the cove and speaks to four guys with surfboards outside the Port Gavin Hotel. Finally we're going to follow the coast path up to Headland Hotel Port Wen Radio. How long ago do you think they were filming in there? Uh, it was 2004 was the first series wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And the second series was filmed in there. 
dilapidated, isn't it? Yeah. All the windows are smashed. Here's Sarah. Yes. We found a cheap hotel for us to stay in in Port Isaacs. I don't know what reception you would get there now. It's the lengths my husband will go to to get the shot. Hello, welcome to Radio Port Wen. Today I'm joined by our new dog, Doc Martin. How are you finding it, Doc? It's windy. As you can see, the sun is now going down. It's setting on us, so we're going to have to call it a day. We're going to walk down towards the beach, follow the road back up to Port Isaac and up to the car park. What a fantastic day. So today's video took you around some of the more important film locations from series one, Dot Martin. I loved finding the Camelot Hotel. I really enjoyed that. What was your favorite bit? Finding a road in Davidstow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is unusual, I must admit. And Port Isaac was really busy today, it's half term, but I hope you still managed to see the locations we were aiming at. I really enjoyed that. I love Port Wen. I do too. Join us next time for Series 2.